I was talking to Enric earlier. We were talking about how things just tend to land in our lap, you know? Uh -huh. And that's how this webinar got started. And the reason I, I said to Mark that I really want to start out talking about that because it has a lot of um, parallels to being in the flow of dating, being in the flow of life, just being open to whatever comes our way and all the thinking that we can do to get in the way of it. One of the things I am still learning, <laughs> I'm always in the process of learning from whatever my level of understanding currently is of the principles, I'm just really seeing that when I'm open to a flow when I'm not pushing and trying to make things happen, it ha things happen that I would never have planned for, I never could have imagined. And it's super exciting. It really, it's just so, you know, I'm sure that some of you have had, maybe all of you have had this experience too. I don't know, you wanna say something about that, Mark? You're well, Lori, that was really a, a really beautiful way of sharing how um, this came to be. And uh, I remember that, uh, I mean, like, I, I've known Lori, um, I don't know, since 1984. And, uh, and so, then, right? <laughs> yeah, we were very young at that point. Yeah, <laughs> really. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> Um, and, and we had this uh, nice journey that we would see one another at Sydney Banks events or different seminars around these principles. And for people who are here that have not heard of the principles, there is a plan for Laurie and I to share them at a subsequent webinar. I, I just love your vision for this because I love helping people in relationship. And really the only thing in, away, you know, that gets in the way of people feeling comfortable uh, feeling secure, feeling connected in a relationship, whether it's the first date or subsequent dates is really the thinking that they're doing. And, um, and, and the misunderstood use of this beautiful capacity we have to think, you know, so we could get into getting, you know, we could get into self-consciousness or we could begin to uh, fault find or get opinions or, or, or not even listen well. So, um, I, I love being able to help people see how uh, innocently uh, we can get into our usual thinking that doesn't allow us to have a nice, really comfortable connection to a person that we're, you know, that we're, we're dating. Um, but also the other factor is uh, my deep uh, uh, appreciation for listening. And to be able to listen to someone you're on a date with or considering dating or talking with before a date to see if um, this is somebody you want to go forward with, if, is that the, the, the depth of listening you do really helps you uh, see for yourself whether um, this is uh, right for you, but also help you be able to come up with a way to talk about yourself that really comfortable and has a certainty about it. Many of my um, uh, single uh, clients uh, use some of these internet matchup uh, kinds of things like, uh, what's it called, match.com or match things like that. And, um, you know, they come up against their own um, self-conscious thinking that um, causes them to have unneeded difficulties in trying to follow that through. But the other piece is a lot of them share the wisdom that comes to them when they do uh, go to meet some people and they just know it's not right for them and that they can trust that and not, um, and not be critical of themselves for knowing this person just doesn't fit them well. And to know that sooner in their lives, you know, to know that sooner without having to um, try it out and really make sure if they're, if, if they're really seeing it right. So, the, so, so those experiences um, are really uh, in, important to talk to people about, and this is a nice way to do it.